Okay, now I'm gonna show you Smash TV with the Virtual Boy controller. And you're gonna see how very well it does run. And it runs extremely well. It's gonna be hard to show you with the um, you know, two hands again because I don't have a tripod, but I'll give you the idea of it and you can envision it for yourself and maybe I'll set the uh, controller or the camera down somewhere where I can show you me playing the game. Um, maybe I'll be able to do something. I'm gonna try. I'll be able to see if I could put it at some kind of vantage point here. But basically this, this controller, this D-pad here, moves the character. Just like the one stick in Smash TV. And then this D-pad shoots in all the directions. Up, down, left, right. It does diagonal shooting too. So again, this D-pad moves the character. I mean, that's really all there is to see here. This D-pad moves the character, and this D-pad shoots. To change the direction of the shooting. Like Robotron, like Smash TV, and like that other game whose name escapes me. Very, very nice. This definitely works better than the original Super Nintendo controller on this game, so who would have thought that the Virtual Boy could Virtual Boy actually has some use after all these years. The actual Virtual Boy controller can be hacked to connect to a computer and actually work very well on games it was never intended for. So, let's set the camcorder up here on top of the PC and see if I can get any kind of vantage point here. It doesn't look like it. Let's see what I can do though. I'll break the camcorder. Um, I don't know how to point it down. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe I can put it back here. Yeah, you can see some of the screen. Not much. Let me try this. Okay, that'll work. And I'll put my hands here. Okay, push start. I gotta be really careful not to knock my camera down. My camcorder, I mean. Okay. Now watch. You'll see me play the game with the two pads. And this should get people interested. This should get people interested in the ability to use the uh, Virtual Boy controller. And maybe get people interested in the Virtual Boy system itself or the controller anyhow. That it is does have some redeeming values. The controller can be used on Smash TV. If that means it works well on the Super Nintendo game, it will work great on the arcade game as well. And I'm just blasting these enemies like nothing. This controller is very, very effective. So I'll show you another room of it. And then I'll probably stop after that, because I'm standing in an awkward position here to show this to you, kind of hunched over. I'm sure that's not too good for my back. And it's certainly not comfortable. Speed power up here. Got it. And that's it. So you see it works very well. Died there at some uh, strange moving stuff. But um, this game plays extremely well with this controller. I like it. My guy's moving really fast now.
accidentally pause the game. I mean, I'm really doing well in the game, so... Very nice to use the Virtual Boy controller with Smash TV on Super Nintendo. Works really great, and I hope this video has, uh, has uh, been helpful to people wanting to know more about, or perhaps don't know about this, really, how you can use an actual video game console controller on an actual, on a PC. And now for the, the last video I'm going to make uh, about this subject, I'm going to actually just showcase my controller collection and put everything in retrospect. I've shown most of it, but I'll show some more. And pretty much all the controllers I, that I own or have collected work with emulation, although I do have an NES zapper that doesn't. I have a few other things in another room that don't work. I'm actually getting rid of them selling, but uh, the stuff that I, uh, I keep works with emulation. So it's all things that I can use to play video games. So thank you for watching my video, and I hope you enjoyed it.